How does impression management work on the internet? Can we apply some of Goffman's concepts? Let's give it a try with Julie's story. Looking for roommates on Craigslist is a real drag. There are so many people out there, and housing is in such high demand here in DC. We get so many emails, but you know we can't invite everyone to come look at the place. So my roommates and I decided to go online and uh, vet people on Facebook. Julie wants to make sure that a potential roommate would get along well with her and her housemates. And they have to like dogs, of course. The emails that applicants send Julie could be considered given performances. Candidates' emails are going to provide the information that they want Julie to see, and Julie knows this. She is going to do some research on Chris. After reading Chris's email, she looks him up on a search engine and finds his cat blog. She decides not to invite Chris over for an interview. The given performance in Chris's email did not align with what Julie interpreted from the given off in his blog. But isn't everything we post on the internet a given performance? We construct profiles and blogs with an audience in mind. Perhaps Chris's blog is a given performance for some people, and the given off for others. Concepts like given and given off don't seem as concrete online as they do in person. That's because Irving Goffman disregarded mediated interaction. Today we encounter mediated interactions all the time. It would be difficult to ignore them. We don't know how Goffman would interpret these kinds of interactions, but we can try to analyze them with the tools he gave us.